up everyone this is Giorgio your friendly neighborhood youtuber and as you guys may know in the gaming community you know um Bill Spencer he had released a statement I think it was during his dice awards um hall of fame uh speech or whatever he was talking about how gamers should respect developers more and show more dignity to them and to um, that point, I would agree with Phil Spencer on that. You know, we should respect the developers. After all, they spend hundreds of hours, you know, making these games. However, my thing to that, uh, Mr. Phil Spencer, is the problem is not the developers, it's the companies they work for. They are constantly releasing games at 59 well now $75 and I know it says $69.99 for next gen games but when you add the taxes it's like 65 or it's like $75 and people are getting glitchy games and you shouldn't have to download a three gigabyte patch uh you know just to get a functioning game which you have to end up waiting weeks for sometimes depending on how bad a game is running and so that is the common trend that's been happening lately it happened with cyberpunk it happened with the uh grand theft auto trilogy and then recently i've been hearing many stories about gamers having problems with horizon forbidden west you know where the game was glitchy and buggy you couldn't save your progress it was just, it was ruining the experience and one of the big time youtube gamers is tyrone magnus he's made videos about this game and of course they have released a patch i guess it's working better now but nevertheless this should not be a thing it, we need to start holding the game companies accountable you can't come at the gamers about us complaining after all when it's us who are spending you know our hard-earned money you know it's not like we're getting these games sent to us for free and you know it's funny because tyrone magnus says something very interesting you know in his uh horizon forbidden west video he said it's like we're paying 65 to 75 dollars to be a beta tester for these games and to me that should not be a thing and it does feel like that nowadays and i understand with technology graphics and all of that getting better you know we you know things like this can come up but it shouldn't be a trend it shouldn't be a thing in the first place if you have good play testers they need to hire better play testers you know and they need to give the developers time if they feel like the game if the developers say hey um the, our game the game is not finished yet it needs more work done you don't rush you don't tell the you don't ignore the developers and make them turn in an unfinished product which is what a lot of companies do that's like oh we'll just fix it when it come out you know it's like they're putting a band-aid on it and they say oh we'll, we'll, we'll get around to it you know to me that is not how you do things and phil spencer i hope you understand uh where we're coming from when it comes to you know these type of things you know what i'm saying and i think i can speak for a lot of gamers where we're tired of this and it seems like this is going to continue and what's going to end up happening is a lot of gamers are not going to pay for these games day one they're going to wait to see how they are with in-depth reviews and you really can't trust a lot of youtubers at least from my genre of, of you know content creating because some of them get sent these games for free but people who spend their hard-earned money you know these are the ones who are going to be posting the real truth about these games and that these those people people like myself people like many gamers out there you know these are the people that the developers more more importantly the executives it's the executives it's not the developers fault for all you gamers out there don't be mad at the developers be mad at the executive be mad at the companies because they are the ones who are giving us these glitchy games not letting the developers you know take their time to get stuff done right anyways 
that's just my thoughts on this whole situation. I respect game developers. I know quite a few of them, you know, but we gotta we gotta stay on these game companies, these game executives, because they are the ones who are taking people's money and then try to patch it up later on as to say, oh, we're sorry, you know. So hopefully Phil Snesser, if you see this, I hope you get where I'm coming from. And also I wanna know from you, my fellow subscribers, my sharks out there, you know, what do you all think about this topic in the comment section below? I will be there to talk to you all about it in depth. Anyways, you all be safe, have a blessed one, and uh, also check out my brand new gaming t-shirt design where we can support the people in Ukraine right now. I think they could really you know, use our help and any sales from that design will go to them. Anyways, I love you all and take care. Peace out.